Because your front yard landscape serves as a welcoming mat for guests, it is important to choose plants that go well with your house, weather, and soil type. Another significant consideration for landscaping plants is their ease of growth and maintenance requirements. This applies to both annuals and perennials. Here is a collection of 18 plants that will look great in any yard. Number one, Liriope. The perennial grass-like Liriope is hardy, drought tolerant, and beautiful as an edging plant or ground cover. It is a fast-growing perennial herbaceous flowering plant that belongs to the asparagus family. Divide plants and plant the new ones in the spring or summer. Number two, boxwood. Foundation plantings or hedges often feature boxwoods. Planting dwarf cultivars, which are ideal for foundations due to their compact growth habit and tightly packed light green leaves, is a good idea. The only maintenance required for the shrubs once they are established is occasional trimming to keep them in shape. Number three, hosta. Both caring for and propagating these perennials is a breeze. When the weather cools down in the early fall or after a hot summer is the best time to plant them. Early in the spring, the plants pop up, sprucing up the scenery with their vibrant hues and varied textures. Number four, azalea. The spring blossoms of azaleas can be any color from white to purple to pink to orange to yellow or even red. These shade-loving plants can be either evergreen or deciduous. Although most species are somewhat slow growing, the ideal time to plant is in the spring or early fall. Number five, caladium. Although it won't survive the winter in most regions, you can sow the tubers in the fall. Keep them dry and at a temperature of 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and then plant them again in the spring, once the danger of frost has passed. Partially shaded or early morning sun is okay for some varieties. Number six, dianthus. Flowers can be aromatic and come in pink, purple, or white hues with a frilly or fringed edge. These plants can be grown as annuals, biennials, or evergreen perennials, depending on your hardiness zone. Although rabbits will consume dianthus, it is resistant to deer. Number seven, zinnia. From late spring into October, they produce blooms of almost every hue, and they are easy to grow from seed. Beehive, button, and cactus shapes are just a few of the many varieties of zimbabies. Zany zinnias can be planted in containers or utilized as a border, depending on the type. In addition to attracting butterflies, hummingbirds, and songbirds, Zinnia is resistant to rabbits and deer. Number eight, Japanese forest grass. Japanese forest grass is a deciduous perennial that thrives in shade. Tall, verdant heaps of grass emerge. Variegated foliage in shades of green and white is only one of the many cultivars available. Number nine, fountain grass. In the middle to late summer, the lovely bottle brush shaped flowers emerge atop the three to four feet tall, finely mounded foliage. The flowers range in color from cream to pink. 
Dwarf cultivars with remarkable color variations are among these. Number 10, Hydrangea. The attractiveness and diversity of hydrangea flowers is one of their main selling points. There are varieties that appear smaller and flatter, and others that bloom in huge spherical clusters. Many hydrangea varieties thrive in somewhat shaded areas beneath large deciduous trees. Number 11, Impatience. Impatience, with their multicolored blossoms, bring a splash of color to dark spots. This annual genus has dozens of species, the majority of which are short, and produce flowers throughout the spring and summer. Number 12, Skyrocket Juniper. The skyrocket juniper is a low-lying conifer with dark green to silvery blue leaves and thin striped reddish brown bark. Birds and small mammals love the waxy blue and berry-like cones, which make it a perfect accent plant. Number 13, Bleeding Heart. An herbaceous perennial with arching stems, common bleeding heart blooms in the spring. Shimmering in shady spots, bleeding heart flowers are little and heart-shaped, with petals that are either white or pink. Number 14, Lily of the Valley. When placed under shrubs, in front of beds, or in shaded spots, Lily of the Valley creates an effective ground cover. Because it doesn't wash away, this plant is perfect for planting on slopes. Bouquets of these aromatic flowers are sure to be a hit. Number 15, Hellebore. The fragrant, rose-like blossoms of hellebores herald the arrival of spring making them one of the first perennial flowers to bloom. The evergreen, clump-forming leaves of hellebore are lobed and resemble palm leaves. Number 16, daylily. There is a dizzying array of colors and kinds of daylilies. The sun-loving perennials can be mass-planted for weeks of continuous flowering. Very few pests bother them, and they can withstand heat and drought. Number 17, Peony. In the late spring and early summer, these shrub-like perennials that form clumps release their large, fragrant flowers. Planting them in a mass bed brings out their whole color spectrum, which includes white, pink, purple, red, yellow, and coral. Number 18, Bottle Brush Buckeye. Although Bottle Brush Buckeye can withstand some shade, it thrives in direct sunlight. The foliage is beautiful in the fall, and the flowers, which are white and fluffy, bloom for weeks. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.